Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormes back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We're here again for yet another video and today we're going to be talking about my Apple Music replay uh, for uh, the month of August or updated with the month of August in it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get my replay mix. I'm intrigued to see uh, what it's looking like now. So uh, alright, so I've listened to 1874 hours of music. Of course, that's very hard to keep track of. I'm glad I don't have to do it. Um, but I would, because I'm a fucking weirdo like that. But uh, yeah, the songs I keep coming back to in one playlist updated weekly. So my top 10 hasn't really changed much. <clears throat> uh, already dead, still, uh, or I think that went up actually. Cigarettes, I think has gone up as well. Uh, Walkin', I don't think it's moved at all. I literally don't think I listened to it at all in August. So I can't think of a time I did. Uh, burn, Rockstar, uh, Feel Alone, Until the Plug Comes Back Around and From My Window, all still up there as well from my window, and Until the Plug Comes Back Around, I surpassed Feel Alone, and then Blood of My Jeans and Empty is my two most played so far, so let's continue on with the list. Uh, Rental, an unreleased juice song, um, not surprised it's as high as it is, to be fair, Iron On Me, honestly surprised it's not higher, another unreleased juice song. Uh, that I literally listen to on the daily, so I'm surprised it's not higher. Um, of course, lots of juice. A lot of SSG Kobe. Um, I mean, my favorite artists of the year probably have been SSG Kobe and Yeet, so a lot of their music are up on this list. Especially, you'll see some more here coming, I'm sure. And of course, there's some Sofago as well. You guys know I love Sofago. Uh, and definitely some scores. Not surprising that Flight is in there. I actually ordered a vinyl for Man of Steel. So whenever I get that, I'm going to show you guys that. I'm really excited for that because Flight is one of my favorite songs of all time. And The Batman, definitely one of my favorite scores from my favorite movie of the year. Um, <clears throat> uh, Paris to Tokyo, one of my favorite, uh, probably my favorite Kid Leroy song to come out this year. Hoping for some more to come out soon. Been waiting a little while, but... Uh, yeah, some Kendrick in there, not surprising. To be fair, I'm surprised the Hard Part 5 is my most played Kendrick song. I think it was at least, I didn't see another one. Uh, no, yeah, that is my most played. Uh, I love that song, don't get me wrong. I'm just surprised that that's number one, although I guess technically No More Parties in LA is tied with it, and then Family Ties is literally one play behind. Chrome, another unreleased Juice song that I don't think is on Apple Music anymore, but a banger. Genocide by Lil Darky. Uh, me and my friends went through a phase of just listening to Darky hype music, and man, I love this song. This song is incredible. Uh, it's just the the flow changes, the beat changes. It's so good. Ten minute song. Uh, not a second of it wasted, in my opinion. Obviously, Lil Darky is not for everyone. I wouldn't go listening to it if you uh, get offended pretty easily. I don't like some of the shit he says in it, but uh, it's I don't know. It's fun with the with the boys, I guess you know. So. Uh, K Like a Russian uh, by Azazel. Um, I'm surprised that's as high as it is because I literally only found it on Apple Music last week. Um, of course, K Like a Russian, you guys know, is my favorite unreleased Juice World song. But still, Jesus, that's that's grown high. Uh, Ali's Audi, honestly surprised it's not as high as it is. Or, or it's not higher than it is, sorry. Um, this was a song that I, like, literally the only song I listened to for, like, a two-week span... So I'm surprised it's not higher. Um, <clears throat> yeah, very interesting. Uh, Scarface, another unreleased Juice song. Um, Spanglish, another unreleased Juice song. Uh, Ultralight Beam, I actually just listened to The Life of Pablo again, so I'm, I'm taking a few more tracks out of that album once again. And then to finish off my top 100, for some reason my top 100 still just isn't complete. I just don't understand that. And I don't know why. Batman and Robin, though, another great Shoujo song that I'm honestly surprised is not higher. It's been in my rotation heavy uh, the past month or so. So, yeah, up to uh, most played artists of the year. I've listened to 453 artists, which is a lot. Uh, that is a lot. That's a crazy amount. Juice is, uh, of course, my most played artist with 233 hours. Kendrick at number two with 53, Trippy at number three with uh, 47, Kanye at number four with 33, Denzel Curry with 29, uh, then SSG Kobe, Sofago, and Yeet, not too far behind Denzel Curry. I'm honestly surprised those three aren't higher. I would have expected especially SSG Kobe to be in my top five, although Yeet just released my most anticipated Yeet song of the year, which was Talk. 
Um, and I literally have been listening to it nonstop since it came out, uh, like yesterday, I believe it was, excuse me, sorry. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure those hours will continue to grow. Plus he's dropping a little project this week. So I'm excited for that. Uh, the weekend, J. Cole, Mage and Mage, of course, those are unreleased juice artists. Um, of course, all those songs are unreleased juice songs. So those are fantastic. I'm surprised Lil Tecca is as low as he is. Uh, surprise Lil Uzi Vert is as high as he is and actually one song that I didn't see on this list that I'm surprised about is uh, Demon High it's been uh, in my rotation heavy uh, lately um, one of my favorite Uzi songs uh, to be honest and I think it's incredibly underrated uh, Michael Giacchino of course great score Nav uh, I love Nav you guys know I love Nav Nav's hours will definitely go up here soon uh, with the album coming out this week uh, oh yeah, Nav and Yeet albums this this Friday, which really excites me. Two of my favorite artists right now, and Nav has been one, definitely my second favorite artist of all time. So uh, yeah, The Kid Leroy, uh, Baby Keem, Post Malone, YBNBA. Uh, I'm surprised Post and YBNBA are there, and honestly I'm surprised that Baby Keem, The Kid Leroy, and Nav are so low. Uh, one artist I'm surprised to not see in this is uh, Flock. Flock uh, puts up unreleased Juice World music as well, so I'm surprised that that's not higher, or he's not on this list. But uh, number one is Legends now. I think last time we were looking at this, my number one was Goodbye and Good Riddance. So number two now is Kill You Up by Shoujo again. I cannot stress this enough. Please listen to this album, especially if you're looking for hype music. Uh, this this album is fantastic. Goodbye and Good Riddance at number three. Death Race at number four. The Inspection, uh, I'm surprised it's as high as it is because I literally like, have not listened to it since uh, the month it came out, which I think was June. So it's been a while. Um, yeah. Uh, to be fair, the first couple weeks that it was out, I literally just put the album on. Like I just pressed play on the album and I listened to it a couple times uh, whenever I was listening to it because it's a very short listen. Um, but yeah. Honestly, surprise, Mr. Morale is so high. I haven't been revisiting it much. Surprise, Trip and Night is so low. Surprise, Melt My Eyes is so low. And I'm surprised God Did is already in here. But uh, the songs, I think there's like eight songs from the album that I really enjoy. And to be fair, I'm surprised there was no God Did uh, songs in here yet. But I have no doubt there will be come next month. But uh, yeah, Damn at number 10. And how many albums have I listened to this year? What did it say? Um, 383 albums so far this year so obviously that number is just going to continue to grow same as the artist uh, I've listened to and then of course same as my total hours listened to so yeah very interesting let me know your guys' thoughts on the video let me know what your Apple Music replay is looking like uh, if you guys are using Apple Music uh, but yeah thank you all so much for watching hopefully you did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye